DSP here on the stream. <clears throat> Excuse me. As soon as, of course, as I start talking, a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> uh, I am worried. I'm going to be honest with everyone. You know me. I'm honest. I'm one of the most honest people on YouTube. I'm not some kind of a character or personality. And I share a lot of information with you that other YouTubers would not be sharing with their viewing audiences. All right. This is the busiest time of the year for me. As you know, tons of new releases, right? And I'm covering most of them. Um, the PlayStation VR was huge. Covering that last week was amazing. It was a lot of fun. My first VR experiences ever. And uh, I am having a ton of fun. And I, what I'm noticing is that there are more people on stream than usual that are coming out every single day. That's great. According to YouTube, you know, I'm just going off of YouTube's tools that they tell you they're your performance tools. You're supposed to see how you're doing based off of what these tools say. YouTube is telling me, Overall, I have way more likes than usual. I have less dislikes than usual on my videos, okay? They're telling me that viewer engagement is up, and what that means is that leaving comments, sharing the videos, etc., that's way up compared to usual. It's way up, so that's a positive, right? Uh, it's telling me that viewer engagement is up, meaning the average amount of time that a person watches one of my videos before they click away, all right? That's up. Now, this is a key metric for YouTube because YouTube thinks they're a television station, which they're not. They're completely idiotic in the fact that they actually judge the quality of a video based off of viewer engagement. And the better viewer engagement you have, the higher your videos will show up in the YouTube search engine. As stupid as that sounds, it's true. So, if someone makes a 30-minute video and most people watch the whole 30 minutes, that video will have higher priority in YouTube search than someone who makes just 10-minute videos and most people watch the 10 minutes. Because it's completely idiotic. It's based off of length of time rather than percentage of the video. So, it makes no fucking sense. Alright? But that's, that's YouTube's metrics. That's how it works. I'm not complaining about that. It's just, it is what it is. But YouTube's telling me my overall viewer engagement is up. Like, uh, people are watching longer than ever before. Alright? That's good. That means people are watching the video and saying, wow, this is interesting. I want to see it to the end, and they're watching the whole video. So in that regard, I'm very pleased. Everything's pleased. I'm very pleased, right? But then, YouTube is telling me my views are down. And this month in particular, October, is where the ad revenue on YouTube starts to pick up. Traditionally, it's actually November and December that have insanely high ad revenues, because that's like the media blitz before Christmas. But it's supposed to pick up starting in October. From what I've seen, and I'm going to be honest with everyone here, I'm making like no additional money whatsoever. Uh, I'm basically making about the same amount of money this month as I did the past three. Which, by the way, the past three months were bad. This summer, I told everyone, this summer was bad for me. It's really slowed down. Earlier this year, the spring was huge. I was getting great views on all of my videos, including the gameplay, including the stuff over on KO Gaming, the edited content. And it, it balanced out to be a lot of, of good engagement and viewership. I had a lot of new subscribers. I had a lot of new stuff going on. And it all slowed down over the summer when there was really nothing going on. I was just playing classic games. And it was really a slow time, right? And uh, there's not much you can do about that, right? It's slow. It's slow during the, the summer. I still was putting out content for you guys and gals, right? And I still had fun, but it always slows down during the summer. There's never been the only... Actually, I'll, I'll be honest. The one year where my summer didn't slow down was the year when I did the Grand Theft Auto Marathon. Remember, I played Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. Those games are just so huge that when I played those, that that summer I actually had a spike in viewership and a spike in attention. But every other summer since then, it's plummeting, okay? And I'm working my ass off here, covering all the new stuff right now, all right? Including, you know, all these new releases. I just spent, no lie, over $500 alone on the PlayStation VR with the, the equipment and the games and everything. And I'm setting up the webcam to do picture-in-picture -picture for things like the PSVR and now for the Dark Souls 3 DLC. You know, Mafia 3 was a new game I just bought. Uh, Gears of War 4 is a new game I just bought. Um, you know, Battlefield 1. Uh, I've been buying a lot of stuff and playing a lot of new stuff. And this is no, this is part for the course. This is what I do around this time of year. Uh, but the point that I'm making here is that sadly, um, yeah, it's, it doesn't seem to be paying off. And I don't really know what to do. I mean, it's, it doesn't make any sense when you look at YouTube's statistics. And literally everything YouTube is telling me is that I'm, I'm doing a great job. People are enjoying the content. My, my, by the way, I, like I mentioned, my stream views have been up recently. People have been more people on stream than there were pretty much all year. So that's telling me people want to see the streams. People are watching longer. People are liking the videos, sharing the videos. So it's not like I could say to you guys on stream, man, you guys, you're, you're not really helping me out because you are. You are doing everything that I, I could ask of you to help me out, to allow me to be successful. And I'm very appreciative of that. Thank you for that. I mean, when I see the engagements up and everything, that's awesome. And that means that people are really enjoying my stuff. And you know what? We're focusing in on the right stuff. Games and enjoyment of gaming. Not drama and bullshit and all the stuff that used to derail me and get me all up in arms about stuff, right? So thank you for that. But 
when I freaking look at views and the revenue, ad revenue that I'm making, and YouTube's telling me it's down. And I'm like, what? You know? And I'm gonna be honest with everyone, I'm nervous. And the reason I'm nervous is because we're nearing the end of the year. This is it. The November, December is like the final push for 2016. It's the time when I, I usually make a ton of money, and it allows me to pay my taxes. It allows me to uh, prepare, because as you know, early next year, there's a ridiculous amount of games coming out that I need to buy and prepare for. And if I don't see an increase from what I've been making during the summer, I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, it's to the point where uh, it's it's that bad. Like, I'm going to have to maybe start to look for other solutions. Whether it means I start hawking merchandise and look for paid, uh, paid sponsorships or something. In which case, my content's going to have to change. Instead of me playing raw, unedited streams, you're going to have me advertising shit during the streams. And having to plug tons of merchandise and stuff during streams, which I don't want to fucking do. Um... You know, I would say go get a job, but unfortunately, it's kind of out of the question because if I take the time away from YouTube to go get a job outside of YouTube, it means that the whole YouTube thing is going to fall apart. This thing takes all of my time to keep going. So if I were to go get a job outside of YouTube, the whole YouTube thing would basically go away, which is what I'm afraid of. This is an eight-year legacy that I built here, and I certainly don't want it to fall apart at the hinges, right? Um, and I don't know. I mean, I've been talking with my parents a lot, too, and they've been talking about possibly... Uh, doing a few things financially. First of all, I might even try to refinance my house, which I know is ridiculous. I just moved here two years ago. I'm already looking to maybe refinance my mortgage because the property values around here have been going up. So maybe that could help me out. Maybe I could get some of my debts wrapped up, re refinance it to my mortgage, and my monthly payments will go down. And therefore, maybe I'll have a little bit of financial release, a little bit of less of a burden, you know? But at this point, I just don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, if, the, if, if I don't see an increase. Now, all of a sudden, there could be an increase... At any time. You know what I mean? I'm playing all this new stuff. Next month in particular, there's a lot more new stuff coming out that I'm excited for. December in particular is usually a great month for me because not only are there new games, but I do my year-end stuff. And my year-end stuff usually gives me a boost in viewership. So there's still potential that things will turn around. But right now, I'm nervous. You know? I'm very nervous. And I don't know what to do. Um, This is... I, I can't understand... Usually... If there's, like, a decline, I can ask my viewing audience, and they'll tell me. They'll say, well, listen, Phil, it's because there's this drama going on over here, and this is making you look bad, and you, you made yourself look bad here, and you turned off a lot of viewers, and your content recently has been boring, and that, and that's not the feedback I'm getting. I'm actually getting the complete polar opposite feedback. I'm being told that I'm doing it right, I'm being, you know, engrossed in the games, uh, that people are enjoying the stuff I'm putting out. YouTube's telling me the same with its statistics, right? YouTube's telling me it's great. You know? But... I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. And it does make me nervous. It does, you know. And, I you know, I say this every once in a while, and I'll say it again. You know, Patreon is really the reason why I'm still able to do this as a job. If I didn't have the Patreon support that I get every month, and this is real talk, I would not be able to do this as a job. Because even though it's, what, $1,000 a month or something like that, it's nothing to, to shake your head at and say, oh, that's nothing. No, it's a lot of money. But without that income, I would not even be able to make ends meet. So thank God I started Patreon when I did last year, or else I would be up shit's creek right now, okay? But it does need to be said that there's thousands of people who watch my content, you know? Th there's over 400 of you on stream right now. There's thousands of people daily who watch my stuff. And if they actually want to see it continue, to give a dollar to my Patreon a month, I'm pretty sure most people could do it. But I'm tired of kind of harping here on pre-stream about it. And then people get angry, oh, Phil's advertising and he just was begging for money. It's like, no, it's eight years of work that I put into this that I don't want to see die overnight because I don't know what the fuck's going on with YouTube, you know? Everyone says I'm doing the right thing. We're loving your content. Please continue to put out this kind of content. Thank you, Phil. Please cover this new game, that new game. And I do it, and YouTube says I'm failing. It says views are down and I'm making less money. How does it make sense? It doesn't make any fucking sense, right? It doesn't, you know? And so people are saying, you know, this year I should have freaking done drama videos, and I should have just kind of done, you know, all kinds of other stuff outside of what I normally do, and I disagree. I think what I did this year worked, honestly. I think that doing a mix between vlogging and the raw gameplay, but also the edited stuff was the way to go. And, you know, yes, KO Gaming right now is having a slow time because I was away from it for a month, but I really do feel that within the next three months, it's going to pick up. By the end of the year, it should probably get some pretty decent views on it again, okay? So, I don't know what's going on. It really is confusing me. I'm scratching my head. And, you know, maybe I'm just paranoid, but I, when I look at my earnings for the month every day and I see that it's barely going up, and I'm like, but I put out tons of new videos of new games. You know, what's going on? I don't know what to do. All right? I just don't get it. So it's this simple, everyone. I need your help. 
you know? And it would be one thing if it was just me doing the standard advertising on pre-stream. This is not that. This is me actually seriously worried that if things don't pick up by the end of the year, that I might not be able to do this anymore. And that would suck. I really would have a hard time walking away from YouTube. I would, because I love doing it. And you guys love watching it. It's not like, oh, well, no one cares about Phil and no one wants to watch him do it. I think that if I were to walk away from YouTube, that it would actually be a, a big detriment. There'd be a big hole there for a lot of people who enjoy watching my stuff daily. And like my style of coverage, it's a lot different from other people's, right? And I don't know what to do anymore. When I'm doing new game playthroughs and the videos can't even get 10,000 views on a video anymore, yet YouTube's telling me everything I'm doing is good, uh, I'm lost. Um, I wish that things would help, that would turn around. I don't know if they will, all right? Here's the deal. If you like my stuff, and I'm being real honest here, if you like my stuff and you're here to watch the streams, whether it's occasionally, because I'm doing something you like, or if it's all the time, if you want to see me be able to keep doing this, I'm going to make a, a kind of a, a, a plea to you now. Please consider using Patreon, because I can't tell you to watch more videos and to like the videos, because YouTube's telling me you are. Everything YouTube is telling me is that you are doing that. So I can't get angry, and I can't get upset and say, wow, you know, it's not my fault, it's not the viewer's fault, I don't know what it is. But, for this to continue, obviously, there has to be, uh, something else that's gonna have to happen. And I don't want it to become, uh, a situation where I have to shill to you constantly. I'll be honest with everyone, now this is the, the God's Honest Truth too, which I haven't talked about this at all. In the past month, I've been contacted by 12 different game studios. Most of them are indie game studios, okay? And they want me to play their games and promote their games on my channel, and they want to pay me to do it. They've actually sent me solicitations saying, we need exposure, we will pay you to do a Let's Play or even just a certain amount of gameplay of our games. Now, I haven't gone any further into it to find out if they want me to kiss the games' asses or not, all right? But that's not the kind of stuff I want to do. I don't want to have it become that my channel becomes basically paid advertisements for games so that I can keep doing YouTube. That's not what I want. And I know that's not what you want, right? So, please consider, if you haven't, pledging to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil, all right? And just to give you some perspective here, it's been three weeks that I've been plugging this and saying it's the Indies Marathon that's going to come back in November. We're still $150 short. $150 isn't a lot. When I've got thousands of people watching me a day, you would think that I should make that up on a daily basis. There, most people who stream on Twitch for a living make hundreds of dollars a day on subs, right? But look at their streams. They're sitting there constantly asking for subs, and it's a big thing. I don't do that. So that's why. Maybe that's a major reason. Maybe because I didn't go commercial, that's a major reason why I'm having the hardship I'm having right now. I don't know, okay? Well, please consider. If you, even if you, it's only a dollar, please consider pledging, all right? Please consider. Because I don't know what else to do at this point. I've made massive changes to the content style that I, I produce in a lot of ways. I'm doing directly what I'm told. My viewership's telling me I'm doing good. YouTube's telling me I'm doing good. There's not much else I could do. So please consider, all right? Please consider. I'm going to have to talk more about this, obviously, because people don't think it's a serious thing, you know? And again, I don't want to go away. I don't want to have it so that all of a sudden in December, I realize, oh shit, I don't even have enough money to pay my taxes. Um, and now I'm screwed financially, and I have to talk to my parents maybe about borrowing money, and I have to refinance my mortgage, and at that point, it's like, well, it's a losing effort, I gotta go start looking for a job, like, at the, in the job market, you know what I mean? Especially being out of the job market since 2010, I'm pretty sure after six years out of the job market, I'm not gonna have much success. I'm gonna end up having to go back to an entry-level job that's gonna pay me next to nothing compared to what I'm making on YouTube, and that's what I mean, I don't even know what to do, you know? So, please, <clears throat> consider... Pledging, if you haven't, please consider going above and beyond. Because at this point, you know, I really was thinking things were going to turn around in October after a slow summer. It's not looking that way. And I definitely need help. All right? It's that, it's that simple. 